Hi there, it's Yulia Tabat here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at Rossum Healthy and welcome to another video. I'm excited to have you here, hope you're having a great day. So today we are going to talk about the four hormones that you need to stay on top of as you age. Now, when you are in your 20s, early 20s and perhaps your early 30s, you can get away with a lot of things. Although actually a lot of my clients are in their mid 20s and early 30s and they have a lot of hormonal imbalances. And the thing with that is that if your hormones are already out of balance, as you age, things are not get, I'm just not gonna get better by themselves. Unfortunately, they're gonna get worse. So it is very, very important for you to stay on top of things, especially if you're starting to experience symptoms of hormonal imbalances. Let's say that you're gaining weight and you're just becoming heavier and heavier. And not only are you becoming heavier in your body, it feels heavier, you know, your life feels heavier. It's harder for you to do things. And um, if you're becoming more and more fatigued and that level of fatigue where you really struggle to do things. If you are experiencing more and more anxiety and perhaps depression and you feel that you can't, you just, your mind is not as sharp, you can't concentrate on things as much. So if all these are the kind of the symptoms that you are going through on a day-to-day -day basis, then it's likely that your hormones are out of whack and you need to work on bringing them back into balance. So what are the four hormones that you need to be aware of as you age? Well, the first one is estrogen. And estrogen is an important hormone because it helps you keep your heart healthy. It helps you keep your bones healthy. And when, it's, um, when it drops too low, you'll start experiencing menopausal symptoms and you'll start experiencing you know, hot flashes and night sweats and uh, all the discomfort that women go through when they go through menopause. But if it rises too high, then you, you start experiencing estrogen dominance. And with estrogen dominance, you, you start having much higher risks, um, health risks. And actually with your estrogen being out of balance, you start having high risks of developing bone problems, for example, or heart problems, or even certain types of cancer. So with estrogen being out of balance and you know, you, you'll see your weight being affected, you'll see your health being affected. And of course, when it comes to hormones, and this is something that I really want you to know and remember, is that we are our hormones and even small variations in our hormones can have a, a dramatic effect upon the way we look and the way we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. So with estrogen, with your estrogen, you obviously you wanted to, to keep it at a healthy range. Now the second hormone that you need to stay on top of as you age is thyroid. And thyroid is your master gland and it's just so important to, to your overall health. And about half a million people are diagnosed with thyroid imbalances each year in the US alone, and a lot of people don't even know that they have um, thyroid imbalances. And when you start to develop thyroid imbalances, it's very easy to go from being empowered and strong and you know, you can just do anything and achieve anything and you can, you feel light and you feel glorious and healthy in your body to a place where you feel depressed, disempowered, where your life is dark, where you struggle for energy and uh, that level of fatigue, a lot of people who experience thyroid problems will, will, will tell you that the level of fatigue that people go through when they have th thyroid imbalances is severe, it's extreme. It's like you, you've got this desire to do things, but you cannot. It's almost like you, you feel lazy, but you're not lazy. You actually do want to do things, but you just don't have the energy to do it. So of course, thyroid is um, very important to controlling your metabolism and controlling many other different functions in your body. So with, with thyroid levels, what you want to keep an eye on is your antibodies and healthy levels of TSH, T3 and T4. And a lot of ladies, ladies who come to us, they actually 
they say that they have healthy thyroids and they go to their doctors and their doctors say, well, it looks healthy from your tests, but the healthy ranges are not optimal ranges. And when you're not at your optimal ranges, when it comes to thyroid health, this is where you can start experiencing all the thyroid symptoms. So if you're if your T3 is on the low side, you want to make sure that you start optimizing your thyroid health. And when we are talking about optimizing your thyroid health and your hormonal health overall, we are talking about cleansing your body of toxins. We're talking about cleansing your body of candida and pathogens and parasites and all the things that can start compromising your gut and restoring your gut. We are talking about a big lifestyle change, a new mastering your new ways of living. So you know, you'll agree that making change is one thing, but maintaining change is a completely different story. And this is where you need mastery. And of course, also your emotions. Our emotions play a huge role in our hormonal health or lack of it. And th thyroid specifically is our, you know, it's a, a voice, it's a truth, is where we, how we, how we communicate with this world and with ourselves. So all these things need to be considered when, you are, when you're working on optimizing your thyroid health. The, the third hormone that you need to keep an eye on as you age is cortisol. And um, when you have cortisol levels that are too high, that can literally have a corrosive effect on your health. And with um, high cortisol levels, you can start developing high blood pressure and high cholesterol and mood swings. And you can um, suffer from poor sleep and you can start experiencing brain fog and uh, impaired thyroid function because, of course, cortisol and thyroid, and, you know, all hormones in our body are interlinked. So a healthy cortisol level is also very important for a healthy thyroid. And of course, with that, you can, with cortisol, being too high, you can also start experiencing blood sugar imbalances. So high cortisol levels will start to develop because you go through a lot of stress in your life. And when I talk about stress in your life, I don't just mean about stressful events, and that's you know obviously enough by itself, but I also mean internal stress. So your body handling too many toxins and dealing with too many perhaps pathogens and dealing with constant, you know, with being bombarded by unhealthy toxic foods or imbalances or perhaps deficiencies that you are dealing with. So all that places stress on your body as well. In contrast to high cortisol levels, you've also got low cortisol levels. So when you go through uh, stressful events in your life, eventually you just, you know, you, you experience low cortisol levels and this is where you develop adrenal fatigue. So with adrenal fatigue, you'll start noticing big changes to your energy levels, to your sleep, to, to you developing anxiety and perhaps weight issues and putting on weight, especially around the waist. And if that, again, your thyroid levels being affected. So another thing as well about cortisol is that taking certain medications can affect your cortisol levels. And uh, ladies with um, hormonal imbalances, for example, will often get prescribed birth control pills to regulate their hormones. But the thing about birth control pills is they can actually ruin your hormones in the long run. And really, if, if you are dealing with hormonal imbalances, you need to get to the root cause of it versus, versus working on the outer symptoms and just, okay, well, I'll just take birth control pills. Plus they don't work, you know, they didn't work for me. I had to go through a lot of uh, restoration that, that lasted years to, to get to a place where my hormones were healthy. Okay, moving on to the fourth hormone, and the fourth hormone is insulin. And insulin is responsible for keeping your blood sugar levels stable. And, you know, far too many people in our world are experiencing blood sugar imbalances. So we are talking about pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, which, by the way, is actually a choice. So these two are reversible conditions through diet and lifestyle. So with pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, and a lot of people don't even know that they are pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetic unless they go and, I know, until they go and uh, check their blood and their doctor says, wow, you know, your, your blood sugar levels are very high and so we're going to put you on metformin. Well, that starts to be being pre-diabetic and especially being type 2 diabetic puts you at risk of facing heart-related diseases, experiencing a stroke, experiencing damage to your kidneys and your nerves and uh, experiencing hearing problems and 
even Alzheimer's conditions like Alzheimer's. And I mean, several months ago, I lost my father because of type two diabetes. And if you have family members who are suffering from type two diabetes, you're at a much higher risk of developing it unless you start making different choices for yourself. So avoiding, um, obviously avoiding carbohydrates and sugar is not the way forward. It's not something that is gonna help you balance your blood sugar levels in the long run. And uh, this is where a whole foods plant-based lifestyle comes in. And regardless of what hormonal imbalances you are going through, again, there is a root cause. There is a reason why they are happening. And usually it's a combination of reasons. Usually it is to do with, with lifestyle, with stress, and also gut issues, and also toxins, and also some deficiencies. So you really need to create a holistic plan for yourself to help you restore your health and uh, to help you um, create healthy hormones and create a healthy body and a slim body and a healthy life for yourself. So if you would like to learn the five steps that our clients use to reverse their hormonal imbalances and lose up to 50 pounds of extra weight completely naturally, then do sign up to my free online masterclass where I will walk you through those steps and where you'll learn how to implement this lifestyle the right way. So the link for that is on the screen. So it's uh, rossomhealthy.com forward slash webinar. It's a free event and make sure you grab your spot there. And if you're in a place where you know you need help with changing your diet and your lifestyle, you cannot do it by yourself and you know that you're ready to work with a mentor, then let's jump on the free health discovery call. Let's talk about your health. Let's talk about your further steps and let's see if um, we can we can help you claim the life that you want to create for yourself. So the link is on the screen and it's rossomhealthy.com forward slash apply. Spaces are limited and we work, only work with highly committed people. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section what hormonal imbalances are you facing right now and what are you going to do about it? All right, eat sweet, keep fit, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now.